Hello, I'm Dr. Andy Blauvelt, a board certified dermatologist and president of Oregon Medical Research Center in Portland, Oregon. I am one of the investigators of the Lebrikizumab phase three program in atopic dermatitis or AD. Today, I would like to share with you key 52 week efficacy and safety data from two identical clinical trials, Advocate 1 and Advocate 2. These trials investigated the efficacy and safety of Lebrikizumab or Lebri monotherapy in adult and adolescent patients with moderate to severe AD. Lebri is a novel monoclonal antibody that selectively targets and potently neutralizes IL-13 signaling due to its high affinity binding to a specific epitope with a slow off rate. Lebri inhibits the IL-13 cytokine and prevents downstream signaling. Advocate 1 and 2 started with a 16-week induction period. At the end of the induction period, patients achieving EZ75 or IgA01 without the use of rescue medication were re-randomized to maintenance treatment with either Lebri 250 milligrams every two or four weeks or placebo. Intermittent use of topical rescue medications for AD was permitted during the maintenance period. The trials enrolled adult and adolescent patients with chronic AD for at least one year. In this video, we will be concentrating on data from the maintenance phase, data from patients who received Lebri in the induction phase and achieved a response at week 16. In these week 16 Lebri responders, baseline demographics at the start of the study were well balanced between the treatment arms. Mean easy at study baseline was also similar across trials and across treatment arms. Most patients presented with moderate disease at study baseline as indicated by an investigator global assessment or IgA score of three. Mean pruritus NRS score at study baseline was similar across both trials and between the Lebri and withdrawal treatment arms. For context, let's take a quick look at data from the induction period. At week 16, a higher percentage of patients receiving Lebri versus placebo achieved the primary endpoints and now the maintenance period. In both studies, disease characteristics of patients re-randomized at week 16 were similar across all treatment arms. I will now share with you some of the key efficacy results from the end of the maintenance period or week 52 here, we are looking at pooled data from Advocate 1 and 2 in week 16 Lebri responders. Around 80% of patients who receive Lebri every two or four weeks maintained EZ75 responses from week 16 to week 52. 71.2% of patients who receive Lebri every two weeks and 76.9% of patients who received Lebri every four weeks maintained an IgA of zero or one with a greater than or equal to two-point improvement from week 16 to week 52. A higher level of skin clearance is measured by EZ90. eighty four point six percent of patients who received Lebri every two weeks and eighty four point seven percent of patients who received Lebri every four weeks maintained a greater than or equal to four point improvement in pruritus NRS from week 16 to week 52. While intermittent use of topical rescue medications was permitted during the maintenance period, the proportion of patients who used any type of rescue therapy was relatively low in both studies. The majority of rescue medication use was topical. Let's now take a look at safety. From baseline to week 52, in patients who received at least one dose of Lebri, 63% of patients reported treatment emergent adverse events or TEAEs. During the maintenance period, 
Specifically, around 50% of patients reported TEAEs. Most TEAEs were mild or moderate in severity. One Lebre treated patient died during the study. The patient died of pancreatic carcinoma during the maintenance period and the death was assessed by the investigator as not related to study drug. From baseline to week 52, TEAEs reported in at least 2% of patients in the total Lebre exposure group included exacerbations of AD, conjunctivitis, nasopharyngitis, allergic conjunctivitis, COVID-19, headache, oral herpes, vaccine complication, folliculitis, and dry eye. In summary, these data showed durability of lebrikizumab every two or four weeks in improving the signs and symptoms of moderate to severe atopic dermatitis with a safety profile consistent with past studies. The comparable efficacy of lebri when given every two or four weeks suggests that maintenance treatment for AD can be achieved at a more optimal dosing regimen.